Hey guys, it's Big Dave here for Tales of Talara, and it's Monday, so you know that means it's time for Warfronts. This time around on Warfronts, we are back on my level 50 mage, and if you take a look at my bar at the bottom, you'll notice some things have changed. Yes, I've crossed a threshold. I'm actually trying a real, true, honest-to-goodness, popular PvP spec. Some of you guys might remember I dabbled in a experimental PvP spec right around the beginning of 1.6, I think, when they made the changes to Flicker. But now I'm actually into a more popular spec. This is the Pyromancer Dominator spec that all the mages seem to be using these days. So, yeah, if you watched the show early on, you'll remember that my mission statement was I was an average PvE player who was trying to learn PvP. Well, at this point, I think I've transitioned, and now I play more PvP than PvE, so the show is kind of transitioning. And this new spec has taught me a whole hell of a lot, namely how much of a noob that I always was. And I think some of you guys who are commenting on the videos, I have to thank you because uh, I think a lot of times you restrained yourself from saying the things that you really thought or that I should really be doing. Uh, because now that I'm playing this spec, uh, I realized I was making a lot of stupid errors, namely uh, uh, Storm Shackle. Uh, I don't even think I knew what that spell did or that it existed prior to actually doing this spec. So uh, yeah, I imagine that uh, you guys saw me moving out of that quite a lot. And actually, I feel pretty stupid at this point for having done that. So I'm really excited about this spec. I'm really excited about this new movement with this character towards a more PvP-centric style of play. And the number one thing that excites me about this spec is that I feel like I can do shit now. Whereas before, I felt almost confused and helpless, not really understanding what the hell I was doing, where I should be going, that sort of stuff. I've conquered a lot of the where I should be and when I should be there, and now I'm conquering the hey, you can actually do damage now kind of stuff. So that's really, really cool, and I'm really excited about this spec. I think it brings a whole new addition into my life of gameplay, and it's really going to broaden my horizons here as I move towards trying to become a more competent PvP player. So you'll notice here I'm doing the thing, the cool thing, the, the teammate-type thing. I'm actually collecting the objectives, uh, while a lot of guys just sort of wore it out in the center. I figure, what the hell, I'm good for that sort of stuff, and I, I do a, uh, a reasonable job of intelligently sticking to the objectives most of the time, so that's what I'm doing. I'm grabbing up some orbs and taking them over to the orb repository. And you're going to see something here in a minute that actually made me sort of happy, uh, sort of a bit of pride swelling up inside myself, which isn't something that normally happens when I play Rift PvP. Uh, Generally speaking, when I get assaulted, like I'm getting assaulted right here, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, I'm generally dead. Almost always. I, not even generally. 99% of the time. But with this new spec, I, I've got enough tools at my disposal, enough things that I can do to actually preserve my own life. Use of Storm Shackle there to, uh, to hurt my enemy. I feel like I've got burst damage in the form of, uh, what the hell is it called? I don't remember the spell you can do when they're below 30% health. That one right there that I just did. Yeah, I mean, like, that was a totally new experience for me. Someone ambushed me. I pulled back to a safe distance, unloaded some of my spells on them, tracked them when they started to run, and killed them with the help of someone else. But we won't emphasize the, the help of someone else part. That's awesome, you know? Like, I've got an ear-to-ear -ear grin on my face because I did that. I just did that. Did you see it? I did that. And I'm not getting a big head about it because I'm going to finish this match with about 23k damage. Um, but I'm still really, really happy with the way that I feel when I play this spec. Now, straight, honest... I got a fucking awesome team with me right here. A lot of times in this game, I was like, man, look at all this stuff that's going on. Am I doing this? And then when I looked at the stats at the end, I was like, yeah, no, I, I wasn't. <laughs> I was not doing that at all. But I feel complete. I feel like what all you guys out there who play PvP with PvP specs must have felt like all this time. And I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? I put in... 40 episodes of this show trying to be the guy who was fitting a square peg into a round hole and now all of a sudden I put the round peg in the round hole and it's like, whoa, <laughs> you know, it's round for a reason. And I'm just feeling really stupid for not having done that before. So 
this is one of those games where there's not a lot going on to really talk about. This is a lot of me feeling out the spec, trying to learn what the procs are. I've never really played a real proc heavy spec, and this one definitely is. So I'm just training myself throughout this game. I didn't have a lot of open hard drive space because I'm doing a big project on my other channel, Big Dave is Cheap. And uh, I only had the time to record one game. This was maybe the fourth game that I recorded in my uh, series of learning this spec. And uh, I was pretty happy with it. I'm, I'm mastering a lot of the things of the spec. I don't want this to be too much about this spec. Like, I need to hit this one, this procs, and do that. And I just want this to be, this show in general, to be more uh, decentralized. I don't want it to be about one class or one spec. I just want it to be about gameplay. And um, th <laughs> this is uh, a lot about me learning the spec this time around. So uh, kind of going against what I normally like to do. But it was a fun game. I had fun. It made me smile. And uh, I wanted to share it with you guys. You're going to see something coming up here that I'm, again, kind of proud of. Um, again, we won't mention that I had some help. But uh, I felt really proud of what is about to transpire. So uh, I make this turn in again. Playing the objective, doing the team thing, trying to win the game, because winning is cool, right? Everybody likes to win. And I come down to a little bit of a mini assault here, and I decide uh, I'm going to pick out this guy at the back. And uh, here we go. I start my rotation on him. He's being smart, not moving out of uh, Storm Shackle. Way to go. But I'm still unloading on him, doing the things that I can do. I'm still a little noobish with the specs, so you guys who are more experienced are probably going to be like, oh, why aren't you doing that? And yeah, I had some allies there, but in the end, I held my own. I didn't take an ass ton of damage, and I killed him. Or I played a part in his murder. So I'm really, really happy about that. And that's not something that I've often been able to do or say. And it's really rejuvenated my level 50 PvP. Now, now again, this game happened, and then right after it, Another game happened where everything went the exact opposite. This spec is not a cure-all, it's the player that needs the cure and so I understand that uh, this spec does not make me godly, and I still have a long way to go, but I was pretty happy. And you're going to see me get the same guy again here in another uh, quote one-on-one -on -one scenario where he's actually two-on-one, but <laughs> I'm taking all the credit because... This is my I'm happy about this game game. Uh, really good pushback there by him, actually, too. And uh, we managed to finish him off. I mean, I managed to finish him off. Ha ha ha. So, this game goes uh, pretty darn well, as you can see from the score. And, uh, again, I learned a lot about the spec. I learned a lot about just playing. I uh, played a ton of games. Uh, I wish I could have recorded them all and maybe put together a montage or picked a game with uh, some more generalized lessons to learn. But... I was happy about this game, and I wanted to share it with you guys. This definitely marks a new direction for the show, at least when I play on my level 50. I'm going to start trying to actually perfect the high-skill PvP stuff, as opposed to just, you know, make sure you're collecting the orbs and taking them where they're supposed to go. So you guys are going to see a shift, and I'm going to start to lean on some of you. A lot of you guys last week gave me great warrior feedback, and you know, warrior's not my forte. I mean, it's not something that I do real frequently, and you won't see me do it real frequently. And a lot of you guys were understandably uh, frustrated with my performance, biting your tongues and whatnot. So, uh, you know, I appreciate that feedback, and, and I thrive on it, uh, because I'm... I'm the sort of person who likes to learn uh, through being taught by others. And I can do that through reading forum posts and guides and all that. But I really like it when you guys chime in and say, hey, uh, here's what I do. And you point me to something that I know is proven. Because I can go and I can Google Mage 1.7 PvP spec or whatever. And uh, whatever patch we're on. We're still on 1.7, right? <laughs> and uh, I can get some results. But uh, when you guys tell me, hey, this works or this doesn't, awesome. So feel free to critique my performance here. What did I screw up? What did I what did I do right? Uh, let me know, and uh, we will check back in next week. We're on the March to 50 Warfronts episode 50. That will be super cool, and uh, soon after that, we will have a year's worth of shows under our belt. Man, I can't wait. Take a look at these subpar stats as the game ends here. You will notice my very low total damage, but I certainly felt like I did a whole hell of a lot more damage than that. I uh, did manage to finish with the top amount of captured orbs, so, you know, at least I was doing my part as a teammate, right? Yeah. All right, guys. I am uh, grinning from ear to ear. It's been a great episode, and I hope you will continue to watch. All right, I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy.